Righty. Um, just making sure that we got everything properly set up for today. Um, now, as you guys can kind of see, um, I haven't released a video like this in a while on the wonderful, lovely sneaker Metarox. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Remember, hit that like button, hit the beautiful subscribe, share if you guys want to share it. Um, today, we're actually going to be taking a look at four items today. Um, two of the four items today. One item is the reason why this box is so big is because of one of the items is going to be that big. Now, this these products are all from Dolls Kill, bought on the Labor Day sale weekend kind of thing. Um, I probably should have waited until the day after, but I still ended up buying this anyways. Um, now, what you guys will see here is a lot of it is just going to be four pairs. Everything here is going to be at least $100 or more worth of goods. Even if it was on sale, it was, I think it was like, I spent like 140 something dollars on it. And I shouldn't have spawned, and I also shouldn't have bought it when I did, because I almost lost right out of money. So don't do that, guys. Don't buy money. Don't buy stuff if you don't know what's in your bank account. You never see it, but you have access to your whatever payment information or whatever you have. Do not buy anything without strict knowledge of knowing what's in the bank. Okay? If you know what's in the bank, be careful. Make sure that you spend on the things that you need to spend it on rather than wanting to spend it on. This was a want. This is not a need. Okay? But let's get started. So, um, now you guys will see the product. You guys will see this. As you guys can kind of see already, all right, that was my phone going off, guys. I had to um, turn it off because, unfortunately, if I don't, um, you guys will probably have to constantly hear that. But this is a reminder that I do am trying to do this while I'm getting ready for work, so. Or before I'm getting out the door for work. Because I want it, I always, if I have time, I will do it. Usually I don't get in the show until about um, 11, 15 in, during the day anyways. So this isn't too worried. Now what you guys are seeing right here is a Club X item already. Okay? Now you guys won't see this naturally um, as intended. Um, I will save this box. I gotta save the box for somebody, but right here. Oh, I it. I hate that. When you drop all your plate, your equipment, your PlayStation equipment and stuff. Yeah, no, not great. And even by the way, if you guys want to see that stuff on that channel. That's, go check out that subscribe to that channel. Now, you guys, um, this will not, Uzi's will not quite be all, all the things that you expect. This item is similar to an item that I already have to, well, this item is similar to already something I already have in a two-piece. This is a one-piece item. You guys can, uh, check that video out, um, if I have it linked somewhere on here, I'll show you guys that one. Um, this is getting ready for kind of somewhat winter, but this is not really a full head of winter. Now, if you guys see any of all these stuff will be linked into the description as best as I can, as much as I can. If you cannot find them, um, if you not see them in the description, um, this is the Sweet Aurora Beam Snow Suit. Not the Sweet Aurora Beam a metallic snow suit. This is the pink version. There is a red version. There is a, another version and another version after that even. Okay. But let's take you out of the packaging. Okay. 
this. Is going to be a big, like, no, no, you guys cannot see this properly, but as you can see, the color's going to look a look little bit pinkish, a little bit better off camera than they do on camera, okay? The way that you guys see this through the, uh, the camera facing at this is what it will genuinely pretty much closely resemble look like. That's what it will look like. If it was in the sunlight kind of but it's got that it's also got this nice um velvet top on it um and stuff so that is that um and it's also mind you this is a romper too so it's gonna look where this is going to be able to be um unzipped and stuff it's also that on the arms too so just remember that um I got it because I wanted to get it, not because I needed to get it. Now, the other things down here, okay, we got some more paper stuck in here, quite a few things. Okay, we got another shirt. Now, this shirt, I actually saw somebody wear this um, through a Instagram post. Um, sometimes I'll post to Instagram, guys, so if you guys see my Instagram, I will have Instagram out there. I also do have um, Twitter, but I don't post a lot to Twitter. I will not, I don't post a lot there, but I do post on the occasion. Now, this one is another crop. I usually don't buy a lot of crops, but I like the shirt of this one because I'm a big, I like a little bit of some anime, too. Um... And this is the Hatsukun Miku shirt, cropped shirt for it. Um, pretty much, you know, I like myself a little bit of some cropped, some cropped stuff. So I like this shirt um, already, but we'll see if it fits later. If it doesn't, it will probably more than likely go back. The only one that I have issues out of all of this is going to be, as you guys can see, we have a box here. But I have one other item sitting down here in the corner. And this item, I'm going to show you guys before I show you the box of, before I show you the big box. Okay? This one is the only one that I'm going to be a little bit concerned about myself. Other than that, I am pretty much going to say I will um, pretty much not worry too much about it. Because I'm not going to, like, if it doesn't fit properly, guys, I don't return a lot of these. If they don't fit me properly, I'll just end up giving it to Goodwill or something to let them deal with it. Because I'm not going to send it back and not get my worth my credit. It's not worth a credit. Now, I got this to go with the... Pretty much, I got it to go with the skirt, I mean with the shirt, but the way that this looks like, this is a, um, this is a, to go with the shirt, this, to me, is not a full, um, is this one's a vinyl, um, shorts, which, to be honest with you, or kind of this, uh, metallic -y kind of feel, but I don't normally wear these. I prob I have a pair sitting in here, but I got in my size this time. Last time I didn't. Last time I should have bought my size. Didn't realize it. I bought accidentally bought an extra small when I should have looked at it and said, okay, if there was only an extra small, I shouldn't have bought it. I should have just never bought it in the first place. But it was only like five bucks, I think. So I was just trying to see if I could get my money back to the marketplace. Ended up not keeping those. That video was the Club X vinyl pair of these that had a zip, zipper on, okay? Um, and these are by Jare, but these are actually a Dolls Kill brand, um, by the way. So just remember, if you buy anything that is not listed on the website, um, if you don't, if they're in-house brand, Follow their sizing guide. 
if you see like Y or U, or you see like Phyla, or you see something that is, that is, make sure that if you look for those brands, if it comes, the first thing comes back to the Dolls Kill website, check the, look through the first page. If the first link leads you to Dolls Kill right away, but then you see another link that leads to the official website, do it that way first, okay? Go through that link, go through that, use it from their website and buy it from them. Don't buy it from Dolls Kill, okay? I do that with my YRU stuff. There is Phyla's out there that I would probably should buy through on their own, but unless they're on sale, go buy it on their official website, okay? Like Phyla's or Osiris's or things like that. If you can't find them on their website anymore, but you have them sitting here on the Doll Scale website, then buy it here, okay? Don't go out and buy something unless you buy it here and it's not sold anywhere else, okay? That's all I'm going to say. Don't put yourself into the aforementioned places and just to buying things. Don't go and do that. Do your due diligence. Do your research before you buy from Dolls Kill. I will normally don't tell you to not go and buy from Dolls Kill. I will say buy from Dolls Kill. Buy from them. But go and buy them on other websites if you can find it cheaper. A lot of times you're helping support that company rather than just making Dolls Kill the middleman. Okay? I'm just saying... I would recommend that you do that. Like, why are you? If you happen to want to buy why are you shoes, use Facebook 30 for that. You can get 30% off all time, no matter what. Sometimes they do flash sales, but that are 50. I wouldn't say 30% is still even good to buy them because a lot of times when you buy them here, they're expensive here. They're $150 on why are you's website with that 30% discount. You'll get it for a little bit cheaper. They also sometimes will have sales for their clearance stuff too. So, but this is the last item here on the list. Um, the last item on this list is basically going to be related to one of my all-time favorite things I bought this paycheck, this this uh, video. And you got these little silica bag thingies um and then over here we got the items which were in the store um it came out to be about Um, each of these items were pretty much, yeah, now there's pre pretty much I spent about for the, um, for the shorts, I spent fifth, six, there's 16 bucks, 69.96, 15 bucks, and then 17.40 for this last pair. This last pair and the Club X Street Aurora Beam Metallic Snowsuit, which I was right, medium light pink, pastel pink, basically, was the next expensive item. Everything else here was pretty cheap. I didn't go expensive, but I wanted the snowsuit personally. I also bought a pair of shoes here. These shoes are from Sugar Thrills. Um, as you guys can name, as you guys can kind of see in the box. Pretty much. Um, this was a pair of shoes that I wanted, but I've been wanting for a little while. But I wasn't going to spend pretty much um, the higher priced of the package. I spent $70 on these. I wasn't going to spend um, pretty much. I will not spend myself. Um... Platforms myself will go $150 max. Um, regular shoes, on regular shoes, I will um, not spend more than $100 on a pair of regular shoes. Um, and shoes that are basically pretty much, um, unless they are, unless they are exclusive, um, unless they are like a, anyway. Anywho, um, let's get into these. 
Uh, and I also will not spend, not only will I spend on shoes myself, um, I will spend on saving a lot of money when I buy shoes. Because I'm not gonna, I will spend $70 on any shoes. I will spend pretty much, the minimum I'll spend is 60 Um, or I'll spend on shoes is the max I'll spend, just like I said, that 100 For non-platforms, 154 platforms, unless they are Nike. Um, Nike, I will ex make that exception. If they're custom-made shoes, I will spend up to, I'll spend 150 as well. If they're custom-made platforms, I will add $20 to the custom platform. These, right here, as you guys can kind of see, um, these are the house rules platform. These are the house rules shoes. Um, as you guys can kind of somewhat see. These will be a little bit chunky on my feet, but that's okay. I don't care. These are platform shoes that I'm going to adorely love. I love these already just looking at them. These are actually, normally I don't buy a lot of shoes. Um, So, I will just let you guys know, these shoes, um, let's see what else comes in here, here, um, and stuff, so we got that there, um, I will be wearing these prior to, um, releasing the extra stuff, so, because I have gotta get to work guys, I gotta get out, um, we will, um, see you guys, um, back here. I'm at the end of this for a montage for the outfit as much as I'd like to like to I gotta hurry up I gotta get going um there is nothing on the back these are just you know they don't tell you what brand they are um the other thing that comes with this is this little chain that gets you a little bit of, it comes with a little bit of that chain on there. I don't know if you guys can kind of see that, but there you go. Um, anyway, that is the aforementioned shoes um, that I purchased. So hope you guys um, pretty much enjoyed for today. Um, so hope you guys enjoyed. Remember, we will show you guys the montage of me wearing the snowsuit. Um, and a few other things. So, hope you guys enjoyed, and we will see you guys later. Bye! lovely wonderful items from from me um in the last um picture uh you guys saw the whole um snowsuit in one way and another way the last item i should say um now i wanted to let you guys know that that is basically able to be detached from not only the sleeves but also from the pants okay to put them back on, okay, um, basically, all it is, basically, um, to show you, we're going to take one legging, I hope, we'll take one legging, okay, as you can see, this is the legs, one legs, and I'll put it down here at the bottom, okay, now, in order to do this, you have the, um, you have the, pants that look like inside here which are very 
nice and well hidden. Now I didn't show you guys with it with one leg or anything like that because that's not how it's meant to be done. Okay. I usually don't like wearing detachable clothes, detachable stuff like that, like this, but that is basically how you actually put the stuff on. As you can see, it looks on this, it looks pink. The zipper looks pink, but it's not. It actually is white. It just, when I saw it initially, it kind of, it kind of blends in. Kind of blends in well with the with the pants. So and as you can see, it fits just fine. Okay, high hidden. Nobody's going to be able to see it now. Then. That is the one side, and then there's the other side. I'm not going to put the other side on for just for this video. And then there is also the top of the sleeve that also can have the same thing put onto it as well. I'm not going to put it here, guys. Um, do that that way. It has a couple buckles in the front. I'm not, I didn't show you guys doing that. I just put in video, put in all that. So, um, the shoes are great. Um, I pretty much... Um, everything pretty much is, you know, the great. I bought these. I like them all. The only one that I was a little bit sketch was the um, pink one. But with certain right ways to do things, you can um, be able, I can be able to wear them. So I just wanted to let you guys know that if you guys want to see more, um, remember, hit that like button. Hit that beautiful subscribe. Make sure you guys check out the previous Dolls Kill haul. Check out another video that I would recommend from another haul. Um, this one's the previous one. This one's the next one. And then the one below that, you guys can also check out my gaming channel if you guys want. I will always put those three here. I'll always put them at the end so you guys can kind of see both sides of the coin. Um, I'll always show you guys my sneaker side. I'll always show, show you guys my gaming side. But I will only do that at the end. I won't do it anywhere else in the video. I won't market it for that or anything. Um, except on Twitter, Instagram, things like that. So if you guys want to see a lot of content from me, like I said, hit that like button, hit that beautiful subscribe, share with your friends, and we'll see you guys later. Bye!